WPCrafter.com, episode 002, How to Install WordPress with Soft Delicious. So the first step is to log into your cPanel with your web hosting account. Now if you're using Bluehost it will look different but it's pretty much the same thing. Now when you scroll all the way down with uh, my web hosting provider there's a separate section here that says Soft Delicious Apps Installer. And what Soft Delicious is is it's a, uh, a platform that a host can choose to put on their servers that facilitates the... It, it, easily installing different software like WordPress or other different software on your web hosting account. It'll create the database for you, the users and all that. So where WordPress manual install, there's several steps and it gets a little technical. If you have Soft Delicious available with your web hosting provider, you it's really uh, simple and you can do it in about a minute or two. So, so for me, I'm going to just click on WordPress right here. And it's going to take me to this screen to install WordPress. Now all I have to do is click this blue install button and yours will look something similar to this. And then I have a few questions to fill out. So in a prior video I created a staging environment so I'm going to choose that here. Uh, but you would just go ahead and click uh, choose your domain. And then uh, right here is the folder you want it in. So if you want it at the root of your website name, you would leave that empty and that's what I want. Or if you wanted it in a different folder like slash blog or something along those lines, you could do that there. Uh, next you would name the database. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. Doesn't matter. It just needs to be a unique name. So if you have other WordPress installs or other applications that require a database that you have a unique name. So let's just call this website. Okay, uh, the table prefix, you can edit this if you want. Uh, some say that it will improve the security, although I question that. Uh, you can give your, your blog a name and a site description. I leave this all the way that it is here, and then I just actually edit it in WordPress after I install it. Here, choose a username. And you don't want to use the default username, which is admin. You always want to use something different. So for this demo, I'm going to use WP Crafter. Now, for all you hackers out there watching this video, I do not use this username anywhere else. So if you try to hack into my website using that, it's just not going to work for you. Uh, and then uh, choose a password here. You can click on this little key and it will generate a random one. Whatever you do, make sure it's something you will be able to remember and then you can go ahead here and put a your email address and that's going to be the email that is created with the user that you created up here choose your language and uh, right here gives you an option to add this plugin the security plugin you can use this if you want I recommend a different security plugin that I'll do a video on uh, so it's completely up to you and then when you click on this plus there's some advanced options that get revealed and one right here I like to disable this uh, it says disable update notifications I use software to automatically update my WordPress install so I don't want these uh, uh, notifications and here's an auto upgrade option uh, automated backups and uh, backup rotation so th this is all very helpful um, so if you don't have another security option definitely put the security plugin in if you don't have a backup option you can uh, go right here and choose to back up once a day a week or a month or whatever I would definitely go once a day um, and then you can choose how many backups you want rotated. Anyways, once you fill this all out the way that you want to, uh, you can put an email address here and it will email you the details of the install. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to click on install. And you'll see, let me scroll up to the top, it really took about five seconds to install it. Now when I open this up in a new tab, it should take me to the WordPress login. And there it is. And when I open this up in a new tab, it should take me to the site that we just installed. So you can see WordPress can really be installed with Soft Delicious in a matter of one or two minutes. 
So thanks for watching this video. Hey, we'd appreciate it if you took a moment to click on the thumbs up button and to share this video with your friends. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and take a moment to go over to our website, leave us a comment, ask us a question, but sign up for our newsletter. Don't have enough time for all this WordPress stuff? Then have the experts install and configure WordPress for you. We'll install, configure, and optimize WordPress for free. All you have to do is sign up for a new hosting account from one of our recommended providers. For more information, visit wpcrafter.com slash free install. Still not a member at WP Crafter? Well, right now if you sign up, you're going to receive these free gifts and best yet, for a limited time, it's free. Thanks again for watching this video and make sure you connect with us on these social networks.